All right, so this is a a request that's posted quite often on on different forums, on Facebook, on different groups. It's how to generate a wax up model. So I'm going to show two methods. One is with the old workaround, and then the other one would be with the new tool that came out with the new version of the software, Exocad 2.4 Plug Diff. <clears throat> All right, to show this uh, these tools, I'm going to use the Bisplane demo case, and what I'm going to do is modify it uh, to, to what I need. So let's pretend that in this case we are going to do the front six. So what I would do is I will change my restoration type from Bisplane to Pontic Wax Up, and I just want to make sure here that I tell the software that I'm going to be designing the wax up digitally. So I use that and apply it to all the teeth that I'm going to be uh, designing. Click Save, and then we'll jump directly into the design. Okay, once we're here, we are, well, if we have uh, the pictures, we can use the Smart Creator. In this case, we're not going to. Uh, the first steps that, that the software requires is that we do the model block out. So we'll go ahead and, and do that. Um, whenever I apply a tool like this, I don't I don't make any suggestions on, on uh, the values that you should be using, just because your manufacturing process will yield different uh, results from one person to the next. So that's that, that's R&D that you need to do on your own. So once we have this, the next the next step will be to uh, do tooth positioning. So we can do it with two clicks. And now here is where I decide to to select the different from the different libraries. Okay, so I have access to a ZRS library, which I highly recommend that they use. Um, in this case, uh, I'll go ahead and, and use the Exofan library. Okay, and I'll go to the following step. Once I'm, once I'm here, then I'll do the fine tuning of the positioning of the teeth using chain mode. Um, it is up to this point, my favorite tool in Exocad. So I'll, what I like to do is first set my distal contacts, make sure everything is, is in the correct position. And then I will go in into the single mode and start um, rearranging each tooth individually. Okay, so once we have this in place, and let's pretend that this is more or less what we want. Okay, let's just assume that this is perfect. All right, then what I wanna do is uh, create a model from this. Okay, so the, the first thing I need to do is um, to make sure that, that, that I'm able to utilize this in a way that I can attach it to the model. Now, one, uh, one thing that a lot of people believe is that you can go to expert mode and then you can right click on the model and say freeform model or freeform scan data and then you're able to do the attachments. But obviously there's no attachment tab here so that's not gonna work. Okay, so we, the, the workaround that I'm gonna show, uh, it shows how to overcome this limitation. So let's pretend that uh, this is exactly what we need uh, for the teeth. So what I what I do is I either uh, in expert mode I either uh, edit the scan data or edit the mesh. And what I would do is by making the model very transparent, I will cut out the teeth that I'm going to uh, replace. So that's one option. So I can cut it out this way, and then I can select the hole and close it. Okay, or the other option is to right click on the model and say freeform scan data. And then with the add remove, just so we can clearly see uh, that remove uh, material, I will just remove everything that's extra that I don't want showing here. Okay, so I will try to get all the way to uh, up to the gingival uh, margin. And so this way I will modify the, the scan data. So I'm only left with what I want as a final product. So again, this is this is one way to uh, to do this in case that you do not have <clears throat> the latest version of the software. Now, <clears throat> some people ask, uh, some people have asked me, what is the point of doing something like this? And if you can actually uh, generate a model 
for, for you to print anyway without having to go through all this process. The limitation with that suggestion is that you cannot extract anatomies in case that you want to do eggshells off of this design. So if you want to provide provisionals for the doctor off your uh, wax up, you're not going to be able to do that unless you go through this process. Okay, so <clears throat> let's pretend that uh, I've done all the cleaning up that I need to do. So we'll click OK. And then here's where it starts getting a little um, geeky or a, a little uh, confusing. The first thing we need to do is save our new model with all the modifications that we did. As you can see, the teeth are, uh, the shape is different because I, I, I removed all that material. So I'm going to uh, export this as a mesh and I'm going to call it new upper just for the sake of, of creating something. And then I will try to save each one of these individually. And I'm going to call it one. Okay. Two. And so on and so forth until until you've saved all of them. There's another way of uh, doing this a little a little easier, a little faster, but I'll just I'll just show you uh, this harder way, and then you can you can probably come up with a with a way of making this faster. Okay, so now I have everything that I need in order to create my wax up model. <clears throat> One thing I could have done is get rid of this inside the ledge, but uh, you understand the concept of, of, on how to get rid of that. So. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new instance of the software, not linked to any case. Okay, so I just want to have a blank dental cat instance on my screen. And so I'm going to right click and select here low scan data. And I'm going to select my new upper. Okay, load antagonist. No, it is not necessary. Uh, that should have been taken into account when I was. Uh, doing the, the original design. And so once you import scan data into the dental CAD, um, you need to generate some kind of order form. So the software has a vague idea of what it is that you're trying to do. So here, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna select Pontic, whatever tooth number, it doesn't matter. Click finished, go next, and that, that's it. I just generated a, a, an order form. So I wanna make the correction of the software needs here. And then from here on out, I'm gonna be working in expert mode. So the way to overcome the limit on uh, the freeform scan data where I don't have an attachment is to make the software believe that my model is an actual, let's call it a tooth or a tooth model, something like this, right? One of these that I can, I can freeform and I have access to adapt and attach and all that. Okay, the way I can cheat the software into believing that is to importing the same mesh as a wax up. So I'm gonna go into tools I remove mesh. I'm going to go here into wax up scan, load, and I'm going to select the same exact mesh. Click yes here, so it, it, it's aligned correctly. And so this is what I what I just imported. Now I could have the software create a wax up off of this, and now the software believes that this is a tooth model. I just cheated the software. Okay, and so now if I go here into freeform, I'm freeforming this mesh with all the tools that I need, right? And so now what I would do is in attachments, I would add, go here to the library menu, all the way to the bottom, load from file, and I'll start loading each one of my teeth individually. Now, it is important that you generate these as pontics because you need a closed mesh. If the mesh is open, when you try to import it here as an attachment, it will not work. And then you always click rotate so that it imports the tooth in the specific uh, location where you designed it. And then you click apply. The software do, does a Boolean operation. Okay, and now I have the mesh that I'm looking for. Now, as you can see, it is a single mesh. Let's, let's look here in, in the cut view. So it's a single mesh. There's no overlapping meshes, okay? 
And so you will just continue doing the same thing to the rest of the teeth. So we'll go into attachments. Uh, let's click on add, load from file, and I'm just gonna attempt this. I'm gonna load them all at once, rotate, click apply and see what happens. Okay, so they're all added. So now I have a single mesh representing all these teeth with, with my design. Now, once, uh, once I have this, okay, I can then go here and save this new mesh as, let's say, a uh, new upper for, or, or new wax up. Okay, and so now when I look at that file that I just generated, take just a second we have a single STL making up this entire thing now we can grab this STL and uh, use it uh, in model creator it allows to generate a model we can take this STL as a scan data for provisionals and extract the teeth and so on and so forth so this is one way of doing this the other way is if we go back here and we continue our design Okay, is with this new tool that ExoCAD came up with. Um, let's just continue through a uh, through our process here. Actually, let's in extra mode. We'll go here into a line model, and we are going to go uh, directly into generating a model for this case. Okay, so the software um, will apply all the settings that. Uh, that are necessary to generate the model and this would take a minute now with this new tool that ExoCAD came up with actually makes it makes things a lot easier because you don't have to generate uh, the SDLs and import them as an attachments you don't have to do that even though once you get used to that process it's really not that difficult it's actually uh, I personally find it fun so once the software generates this, okay, then in expert mode, we have the option of, here it is, create digital wax up model. Okay, so if we select this, the software will then, now keep in mind, it is a prototype. Okay, so this is testing, uh, You. this is just up to you. Okay, so the, the software is not guaranteed, Exoca is not guaranteed that this tool works. And so you click OK, and the software will generate a model uh, with, okay, so let's click on this again. Okay, so here it is. Now, the only problem is these are not, the, the software does not get rid of these. Okay, so if you don't mind printing uh, with those in place, then that's fine. Um, but then it, it generates a new file into your folder, okay, which is the model base, okay, with the digital wax up model. So this is what the software created, this is what I created, and then you can utilize uh, those STLs to, to, to do the rest.